In your classroom, certain students with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, may behave impulsively and lack self-control. These are known as self-regulation skills, and the good news is that they can be improved through positive guidance and structure at school. Hi, my name is Tamara Malinoff. I'm a psychoeducator working in both the private and public sectors and collaborating with the Learning Disabilities Institute. Today, I will share with you some strategies to help your students gain more control over impulsivity. There are different types of strategies. Those that aim to work on behavioral regulation, for example, the capacity of a person to regulate their behavior according to the situation, and strategies that aim to work on emotional regulation, for example, the capacity of a person to regulate their emotions, in particular, their intensity and duration. Both of these strategies are important. We will look at a few together, keeping in mind that this list is not exhaustive. Strategies to promote self-regulation behavior. First one is to establish clear behavioral expectations. Be clear about the rules. Specify the expected behavior, not the forbidden one. Establish reinforcements and consequences with compliance or non-compliance of these rules. Whenever possible, use positive reinforcements for students who follow the rules rather than warning those who do not. Establish clear and consistent routines for arriving in the morning and leaving in the afternoon because children with ADHD particularly appreciate routines and dislike last minute changes. To avoid impulsivity that may cause the student to experience maladaptive or inappropriate behaviors at a particular time, consider having clear routines for specific situations such as going to the bathroom or sharpening a pencil. The second strategy is to carefully plan all movements and transitions. It is often during these moments that young people with impulsivity become more disorganized. Strategies to promote emotional self-regulation. The first one is to determine the factors that trigger losing control. Identify the cause of the frustration or factors that aggravate the situation. For example, hunger, fatigue, intrusion on personal space or noise, and then implement measures to alleviate these difficulties. For example, do not plan tasks which are too complex at the end of the day if you have observed that this is the time when your student is most likely to experience a loss of control. The second strategy is to prevent disorganization. For example, give the impulsive student the right to speak as soon as possible in order to prevent them from interrupting someone else who is talking. Provide assistance at the appropriate time. For example, before they get discouraged, use nonverbal cues to refocus the student's attention in a discreet manner with gestures or a stop sign taped to the desk and so on. You can also try to reduce tension by using humor to downplay the situation. The third strategy is to help the student identify their emotions. The first step is to teach students to recognize the key emotions. These can be done according to the symptoms they feel in their bodies. For example, I have a stomach ache or difficulty breathing when I'm stressed. Then it is essential to normalize the emotion. So for example, explain to them that it is normal to feel stressed before an exam. The fourth strategy is to help the student express their emotions. Help them to expand their vocabulary of emotions. It will be easier for them to put words to what they feel. You can also use active listening to encourage them to express themselves with statements such as, you seem preoccupied, would you like to talk about it with me? The fifth strategy is to help the student to regulate their emotions. How? By showing affection. A consistent display of affection helps the student to calm down and relieve physical and psychological tension. You can also teach your students techniques to calm themselves, such as progressive muscle relaxation or abdominal breathing. The sixth strategy is to support the level of effort or motivation. If you encourage or praise your student regularly, it will help them to better tolerate their frustrations, then as a result, they will improve. 
The development of behavioral and emotional self-regulation is the key to helping your students better control their impulsivity so that they can experience more success at school.